Okay, so we're going to talk about foot placement when you're going down the line and through your turns. And moving your feet while you're surfing is one of the fastest ways to progress and create more speed, power, and flow down the line and through your turns. So the first thing I want to point out is my front foot, okay? We always want our front foot in the middle of the board, okay? That's a neutral position, so it's going to keep your board neutral and not pull it to one side or the other by burying the rails. When I'm going front side, as I am now, it's going to be like the arch of my foot will be along the stringer line. And you'll see right here, you can see this black line as a stringer. You see my front foot, just about the arch of my foot is right on the middle. Now, when I go backside, it's going to be a little bit different because our hips are oriented the other way. And I'll point that out when I show you uh, the left in the next little clip here. So our front foot's in the middle along the stringer line. I can't stress how important that is. That's probably... 90% of the guests that come down to Blue Zone here in Costa Rica were adjusting their front foot a little bit because it tends to be a bit too off to one side or the other or they're using their front foot to turn and we want to keep our front foot in the middle and it's really not moving side to side. It'll move front to back but not side to side. So my front foot's in the middle. I'm going for my bottom turn. Now my back foot it's going to be towards the inside rail here. So if I'm pumping down the line, I want my back foot towards the inside rail. A couple reasons. One, that's gonna engage the rail in the water to create friction and help me steer the board in the direction that I want to. Or if I'm pumping, it's gonna help me pump and it's also gonna help engage the fins, okay? I want to have my toes towards the rail. Now, depending on the steepness of the wave, sometimes I almost have my toes hanging off the board because I really need to engage that rail and engage the fins to grab the wave if it's really steep or if I'm going for a hard bottom turn or sometimes it's just slightly towards the rail, okay? So my back foot, notice, is not on the stringer line like my front foot, it's more towards the rail. So I'm gonna go for my bottom turn here. You can see my back foot towards the rail and I'm gonna lean on my paddle, engaging that back part of the board, that back rail, see how the board is coming onto rail here? All of that is going to be initiated really through that back foot pressure. And I like to explain it as we're putting pressure on our toes and not necessarily shifting our weight back. Whenever we're surfing, our weight is gonna be equally distributed between the front and back foot or maybe sometimes it's 60 percent weight back 40 front but it's never we never really want to have like 80 percent of our weight on our back foot because that's going to cause the nose of our board to pop up and create a lot of drag and it's really not hydrodynamically efficient so think about even distribution of weight or maybe a little bit more on the back but when i talk about weight on that back rail it's more transferring of that even distribution of your weight, not putting 80% back, but transferring your weight to the back foot toes, okay? So it's not more weight, it's just shifting that weight towards the toes, I'm leaning on my paddle, and now as I come out of my bottom turn, okay, I wanna engage this right rail as I go for my right turn, but now, I'm going to be coming back, doing a cutback towards the left. And so really important here, you're gonna see my back foot come up. Look at that, okay? So my back foot is literally coming up into the air or it can be a bit of a slide and I'm moving my heel towards this left rail because that's the direction I want to be turning. And that's what I want to be doing is engaging this rail now and in the fins on this side of my board. So I'm literally picking up my foot and moving it to the other side of the board. Meanwhile, the front of my foot is staying on that stringer line, okay, in that neutral position because some people will do this movement, but they'll do it with their front foot. And then what happens is the front part of the board and the rail will bury and it's going to slow you down and it's going to cause 
that rail to bury in the water, you're gonna lose your speed and more than likely you're gonna fall into the water. So our front foot's neutral, it's not moving. My back foot is lifting up. You can see my heel is actually in the air here and then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put it down and now it's on this side of the board. Remember on my bottom turn, it was on this right side with my toes over there. Now it's up and my heel is towards this rail and that's going to allow me to be low and now I'm going to engage this side of the board and same thing, I'm putting pressure on the heel, maybe a little bit weight towards my back foot, but it's more I'd like you to think about pressure onto the heel and that's gonna allow, you can actually see my fin on this side out of the water almost, it's gonna allow the rail of my board to bury and it's going to direct the board hydrodynamically using the fins, using the rail back to the left, okay? And it's gonna drive the board back to the left. You see how deep that rail is in the water. This fin is out and that's all coming from, you know, my hips are, are definitely doing some action and, and we talk about that in other videos, but this is primarily focused on the feet because if you do this and you get low, you really, you still wanna think about your hips. You wanna think about looking in the direction you want to go as my eyes are gazing over my shoulder. That's definitely gonna help, but really if you're, if in, that's important, looking that way, but if you're moving your foot and being dynamic with your feet, that's gonna be the thing that really causes the board to get on rail and respond and drive through the turn here. Now, as I complete my turn, my back foot is coming back towards the middle of the board as I come out of that turn because I don't want to stay on rail and I'll be a bit unbalanced if I keep my foot on the rail. So my back foot's coming back towards the middle here. And now as I go to redirect, it's actually moving again, you can't see it, but back towards that rail because I'm gonna redirect back this way and go down the line. And if I was going for another turn, I would just repeat. This foot would be on the rail, maybe to help me pump. And again, we'll check that out in different video on pumping that we'll link into the description whenever that's available. So our back foot is coming back to this rail to help me redirect and go down the line. We kind of lose the wave there. And at the end, I'm gonna replay that wave. And now we're gonna go, and I'm gonna show you a backside wave. So I wanna point out at the start of this wave here, and as I mentioned, my front foot, this is a different board, so it's a bit smaller, but my front foot's not gonna be perfectly on the stringer in the same way because our hips are oriented backside. Uh, but I still want it towards the middle of the board. Now you're gonna watch, I'm gonna lift my back foot right there just very subtly, but I'm lifting my back foot and I'm putting it on the rail for the same reason that I'm lifting it through the turns because it's gonna help me redirect my board and drive my board to the left so I can take this high line, all right, to the left so I can get lots of speed here. I'm and you see me actually lift it again right there. You can see it in the air because I'm really moving it over towards the rail so I get lots of control on the rail with the fins. I'm pumping up to the top of the wave. My front foot's in the middle. All right, you can see, again, This is that's the handle of the board there. So you can see my toes are actually just at the handle. It's not gonna be the middle of my foot and that's okay. Um, it's, it's just gonna be, because of the way our hips, hips are oriented backside, uh, that's gonna be how our foot is gonna be towards the middle. Now, I don't want it so much that I'm over here and I'm burying that rail. My foot is still, the forefoot is still in the middle of the board, and my back foot is towards the rail. All right, now, you can see my heels start to come up because I'm really gonna drive off this bottom turn, leaning on that, hill, get, uh, on that heel, and you'll see this fin coming out, burying the rail, and then as I come up, you can't quite see it because the spray in the board is in the way, but my heel is on this left rail because that's the direction I'm bottom turning, and now as I come up, my foot is actually coming up, and I'm moving it. It's not gonna get quite all the way over to this other rail through this turn, but we wanna get it back towards this right side because that's where I'm going as I redirect, and again, it's, it's a bit hard to see, but my foot is more... Um, towards this side, and you can see my back heel is actually in the air because I'm leaning on those toes. Again, I want you to think less about transferring the weight to the back foot, and it's more a transfer of weight 
to the heels and to the toes. So as I come through my bottom turn, my weight is on that back heel and this front foot is a bit neutral. And again, the distribution of weight between the two feet is 50-50, maybe 60, uh, I'm sorry, 60 on the back, 40 on the front, but never much more off than that because then we're gonna be doing what I call like a wheelie on the board with the nose straight up. So I'm leaning through that turn on the heels and now you can see my foot come up right there. You see my, my knees coming up. You can't really see the foot moving. And now I'm, I was heel pressure and now I'm toe pressure as I drive through this turn. Again, front foot towards the middle of the board. Toe pressure here to drive through the turn. And now as I come back, I'm going to switch my foot again. My back foot is now going to come back towards this side a little bit. And now I'm heel pressure through that redirect, okay? So at any one point on a wave, you know, through that turn, I, I move my back foot four times. So if you're doing multiple turns on a wave, you're going to be moving your foot eight you know, maybe 16 times if you got a bunch of turns on the wave. So it's a lot of back foot movement, really trying to be dynamic. So again, back foot, heel pressure here, heel pressure through my bottom turn, heel pressure. Now front side, it's toe pressure through the bottom turn. But now as I come to redirect, I'm moving that back foot towards this rail. Now I'm heel pressure coming. Uh, I'm sorry. Now I'm toe pressure coming through here, and now I'm actually gonna slightly lift my back foot again to be heel pressure off of that turn, okay? So I hope that makes sense, guys. Really start to think about looking down, making sure that front foot is on the stringer. If you're just doing that and not moving your back foot, just getting that front foot in a neutral position in the center of your board, that's gonna make a huge difference. And then if you're starting to pump down the line, Getting that back foot on the inside rail is going to be huge. And then moving that foot through your turns is going to be super helpful. So I'm going to play it through again. So you can see back foot coming up to the opposite rail, driving through this turn, heel pressure through the turn. Really trying to be dynamic with that back foot, our front foot, in a neutral position. And then backside, moving that back foot to the inside rail as I pump down the line, heel pressure, toe pressure, heel pressure. Okay guys, hope that makes sense. Hope this is helpful. And definitely feel free to send us an email, make comments in the comment section, and even better yet, come down to Nosara, Costa Rica for a one week camp where we will dive into things like this, but except for, instead of seeing me on the video, it'll be you in our amazing waves every day where we film you and then we'll break down and we'll actually be able to see what you're doing, what your feet are doing, make the corrections for the next session and continue to improve. Thanks for watching and have a great day.